Canelo Alvarez is known by the boxing world as the best super middleweight fighter on the planet and one of the best fighters pound for pound. Having won multiple world titles in four weight classes from light middleweight all the way to light heavyweight, Alvarez is the first and only boxer in history to become undisputed champion at super middleweight, making him one of the best fighters to come out of Mexico. Boxrec even have Canelo as the best fighter pound for pound, but many would beg to differ after his devastating loss to Bivol. Nevertheless, that loss has only improved Canelo as this this was evidently shown in his recent trilogy against Triple G, which was a one-sided beatdown. But the big question everyone wants to know is, what did Canelo do to get so good? Well, in my opinion, it would have to be his training regime. Canelo trains like an absolute beast, and after doing some research, I was able to find Canelo's typical training plan when he is in camp. So, let's break down how Canelo trains for his fights. If you take a look at this table, this is Canelo's typical training plan when in camp. He would start his mornings by waking up at around 6am and then going for a 4-6 to six mile run. Then once the run is finished, he would do some mobility exercises and then come home for breakfast. After a few hours rest around 1pm, on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, he would then head off to the boxing gym where he would work on his strength and conditioning, his boxing skills including mitt and bag work. However, on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, he would focus more on sparring rather than SNC or bag work, but after the sparring, he would do some pad work rounds with his co Let's go through these training sessions for Canelo one by one. Running is a pivotal part of any boxer's routine. The fitness required to last 12 rounds in the boxing ring is simply remarkable, so being able to run and build up your cardio is vital. Canelo is no different to other champions. Every morning, apart from Sundays at 6am, he is up and out of bed, pounding the streets and getting the miles in. A morning run is the perfect start to the day for any professional boxer. Also running gives a fighter time to think and visualize their upcoming fights and it provides conditioning for the legs which will help any fighter stay up light. An article by Boxing Addict stated how running for boxing is hugely important mainly because of its effects on the cardiovascular system. When a fighter goes on long runs he is not only increasing his lung capacity he is conditioning in his body and mind also. Canelo may be a KO artist but his ability to fight all 12 rounds and not gas himself out is very impressive. Going to the gym every day doesn't really improve you as a boxer. You need to do that extra training that your opponent is not doing. This is why I have started a new way of training called boxing analyzing. What I will be doing is I will be taking clips of you, analyzing it, showing your strengths and your weaknesses so you can improve twice as quick as your opponent. This new training method is being used by so many boxers that I have worked with. Let me work with you and let me help you become a world champion. Here is my email which is boxingworld at hotmail Dot com. Just give me an email and let's get to work. And how about this? The first clip that I do for you is going to be completely free of charge so I can show you my work. So what are you waiting for? Send that email and let's get to work. Strength and conditioning training at its core is primarily focused on exercises that work to build and enhance an individual's mobility, stability, endurance, power speed, agility and athletic performance with the goal of improving the quality of the fighter's health. This table which I found online shows Canelo's full body circuit which he does three times a week. Canelo would complete around five rounds of these exercises with each exercise being specific to aid Canelo's conditioning in the ring. These exercises include battle rope, power slams, wall balls, landmine punches, elevated crossbody climbers, trap bar, farmer's walk, the plank and lastly jump rope. Canelo would then repeat this for five rounds. 
In boxing, every coach has a different style of holding and doing the pads. You had the Mayweathers and their style of pad work. You have Kronk and their unique style. And also then you have Eddie Reynoso and his unique style of pad work. When Canelo is on the pads, his coach uses a lot of repetition on certain combinations such as the jab cross followed by a roll. This combination is used quite frequently in boxing and Canelo Canelo uses it a lot too. The main aim of pad work is for the coach to work on his fighter's technique and most importantly try to imitate his fighter's up and coming opponent to the best of his ability. For example, if you look at Canelo preparing for his fight against Billy Joe, you can see how Reynoso was stood in a southpaw stance whilst doing pads. This is because Canelo's opponent was going to be a southpaw, so Reynoso was standing as a southpaw whilst holding the pads to prevent his fighter from the southpaw jinx. Also Reynoso uses the punch shield with Canelo and what this piece of equipment does is that it helps Canelo work on his counters as you can see him duck and roll the pad and then counter with short powerful punches. When practicing his boxing on the heavy bag, Canelo does not throw lazy or wasteful punches. Instead, he throws punches which are meaningful and punches which he will most likely throw in the ring. For example, you can see how Canelo here is practicing his double left hook. Now, on the right side of the screen, look at how Canelo was able to land this exact same punch on Liam Smith. Canelo also uses a bag called the Cobra Bag. Now this bag is a great way to improve your punch accuracy but Canelo uses this bag mainly to help him with his head movement. You can see how Canelo has excellent focus when he is slipping and evading the Cobra bag. Now look at these clips showing the exact same movement but this time he is evading his opponent's punches. Canelo really does train and use specific items which will help him against his opponents. Canelo also uses a bag called the Aqua bag which is full of water. Here Canelo will work on his uppercuts and hooks mainly whilst also slipping and ducking down before throwing the punch. Now look at these fight clips where he literally imitates what he was doing on the aqua bag but against his opponent. Using this bag is a brilliant way to improve your short range power punches. Sparring is an essential regime in any professional boxer's training. This is where you practice everything you and your coach have worked on. On Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, Canelo has his sparring sessions where he comes up against sparring partners similar to the fighters he is training for. By sparring, Canelo feels a lot more comfortable in the ring and he gains great knowledge from his experienced sparring partners. Also, Eddie Reynoso is a smart coach and he makes Canelo work on the fight game plan in sparring. So when it comes to fight night, Canelo is comfortable with fighting the way his coach wants him to fight. Canelo spars with fighters from different sizes and weight classes. For example, here you can see Canelo sparring against Cuban heavyweight Frank Sanchez whilst he was preparing for Callum Smith. Canelo was standing up and close with this heavyweight and this shows you how how tough and strong Canelo actually is. And there you have it. That was a complete breakdown of how Canelo would train in fight camp. Drop a comment on other fighters you would like me to do in my next video.